Hello people and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Where today, that's right We're going to be starting up a new boat program I've already worked on the first boat Or the main boat for this season series, I don't know Why is the flag change back? Hmm, suspicious do, 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 do. Yeah, so I've made a few up yeah I'll take so here is the boat that we're going to be using for the duration of this it's it's an idea Greg gave me yesterday or on Saturday which is yesterday yeah so I'm gonna upload this today well then yes thinking out loud um of a modular sort of design so you see there's docking clamps holding everything together so if something breaks or I want to upgrade something I can basically just decouple it and couple a new thing onto it which is a clever sort of design I think these wing things wing, wing things wing dings <laughs> wing things are just here literally for stabilization Otherwise it would just be like a tube. Wouldn't be the greatest thing in the world. No, not a tube. So I did also come up with some way of moving this. And I haven't tested it at all. So this could go well today. It, yeah, so. <laughs> so yeah, I've made a few upgrades. It's got lights on this version. And probably a few other winglet things and yeah stuff stuff that generally just makes it slightly more boatish Bo booty <laughs> I don't know but yeah this is like a moving platform thing connected dead in the center yeah not dead in the center it wobbles quite a lot so I'm hoping once I get this in the water and just decouple it from there and just just like yeah go Oh, to it. I just hit something. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid hand movements. Just, um, sort of accelerate off of it. Probably with quite a lot of grinding things against it. So let's just give it a, let's just give, give it a go. Let's go! Loading time, loading time, everybody loves loading time. Do, 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 do. Go, 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 go. There we go. Any second now. There we go. Right, so, yeah, there's the wobbling. So, as it is connected in the center, it's sort of. The back is slightly heavier than the front, apparently. I'm not surprised, there's a whopping great engine on there. So, it sort of clips through the bottom, but that shouldn't be a problem, I'm hoping. Uh, so if we try and get it off the runway first, I had to widen the front because I realised the wheels would clip against the um, pontoons. Pontoons, that's the right word. Pontoon. What a word. So the front is actually wider than the back. Which makes things interesting. Oh yeah, and the maximum speed of this thing is about 10 metres per second because there's 10 meter, yeah. So it, it can sort of say it's right above. If we have a look, I bet this thing is freaking heavy. 39.29 tons. Wow. That is including the, I guess, the bottom docking port. So it's, it's probably still a good 30, 30 tons of boat. Just pure boot. I thought I took the ones off the front off. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this thing. Uh, I don't want to see that. That's the. I don't. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this thing could take a while to get to the ocean. I'll get back to you. Note to self. Do not use time warp. 
All right. Um, we're almost there. You can see ocean. It's a good start. Going to be very careful with the braking. Because I've got to somehow drive this whole thing into the water. And somehow decouple it. I hope it doesn't float. Like the bottom bit doesn't float too much. If it does, the braking isn't working very well. Oh, there we go. If I brake too hard as well, that front will hit the ground. Which is never good. Prefer that not to happen, to be honest. Uh, slow down. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Slow down a lot. Come on. Slowly, 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 <coughs> slowly, very slowly, there we go, right, oh, right, here we go, front's touching, okay, Right, let's let it roll down a little bit more. Until we can literally say we're in the water. We are now in the water. Check the brake on. D couple. Right, good news. We're floating. Bad news, I've now gotta gently push us out of the yeah come on push ah the brakes are on that's a fucking oh, obviously right go push us gently a any any second now you know right Am I still attack? Have I recoupled? I can't see under the water. This is a slight missed problem I did not see. I'm thinking I'm decoupled. Yes, I am. Am I decoupled? Yes. Aha! We have sort of movement. Problem is the brakes are on on this. Come on, wiggle your way out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Come on, do the wiggle. Yeah, do the wiggle. Yeah. Hey, here we go. No, not good. Oh dearie me, we've we've fallen apart. I, I, I have no, I've got no control of those engines. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, we have no, what do we get stuck on? Did that clamp come off down the underneath? I think it did. Also, we're now heading straight for land and I have there's no way. Break! Lights! Jesus Christ, that's a lot of light. Gear? No. Oh dear. Aha! We've stopped. Um, yeah. This hasn't gone so well. Abandoned ship. Swim bill. I 
don't know if there's a way to make him like swim really fast. Apparently not. <sighs> that didn't go so well, did it? <sighs> hmm. We need to come up with a new sort of docking movement mechanism. Yeah. This could be interesting. Right, back to the drawing board. Oh dear, no. A bit weak in the middle. Yeah, a bit weak in the middle. <laughs> Didn't foresee that. <laughs> oh my god, it's so ugly. Look, it's working. Oh, the front's come off. It didn't work. Back to the drawing board. You know, you get to that point where you think your like movement rig is getting a bit more complex than the boat. I've I've got to that point. Yeah, definitely got to that point. Yes, it worked. Just oh my god, it's a bit wiggly. I need a way of actually centering the weight a bit more, I think. If I... Boom! Uh, yes, the reaction wheels work a dream! No, they don't. That's wiggly. <laughs> this is the most complex piece of shit. It's like a Star Trek dry dock. Almost. Problem is, I don't have as much clearance with this one. So moving things is a little more difficult because I've got like literally that much clearance. When I accelerate even less because it wiggles. Right this is where it's gonna get a little touchy. Oh the back! <sighs> that was close. That was incredibly close. There we go, I figured out how to move it. Oh dear, now we're gonna get into the ocean. I'll be back in about two years time then. To the ocean! I found a problem with braking. If I brake too hard, the back end is gonna dip straight into the ground like that and lose all the Well, this didn't see. All the way as well. Oh, so far. It's just too wobbly. It's the problem. I need to find a slightly better solution. Come on, a couple. Thank you. Oh, look, it sits in the water perfectly as well. Damn it. You were so close. We've lost electric. We've lost... Oh. Yeah. You're almost there. Hmm. We're so close. It's even floating, and it's floating literally perfectly. To the point of. I wonder if. Did they fix that bug where. Oh, can girls actually walk on stuff floating now? Oh, excellent. Cool. <sighs> we, were, we were so close. So, so close. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Alright. I'll have to 
somehow heighten this thing and make it slightly more stable. That could be fun. Um, so yeah, I'll work that out next time. It'll work fine. So until then, goodbye.